I have two new things today for you in this video and we're gonna be starting with the first one which is now the broadcast feature is finally here right you can use it I have here my Xiaomi 11 and I have here my Samsung S21 Plus guys and here I have the main culprit which is the Google Home Mini I'm gonna be doing some tests from the phones, broadcasting messages to here, replying from here to the phones and vice versa. But the first thing is first, how can you activate this? So it's very easy guys, you just need to go into your assistant settings, okay, go into the settings, make sure to go into the Google Assistant and you're gonna be able to find a new menu called communication. Scroll down a bit here, communication, managing your calling and messaging services, Inside, there's going to be two new options. One is broadcast. When you click broadcast, you should have two toggles. Broadcast on personal devices, which will allow you to send, receive, reply to any messages that you get on your devices, phones, etc. Second one is family broadcasting for guests, which is actually not a good idea. If you want to still use it, you can enable this one, right? Make sure that you check this on your phones. I'm going to show this also here on my Mi 11. Go to settings, go to Google Assistant. Scroll down a bit and always search for this new menu called communication. Inside communication, you're gonna have broadcast. Inside broadcast, you need to make sure that the toggle is on. I'm gonna be testing the broadcast right now by sending a message from my S21 Plus phone to my home members here on the Google Mini. Broadcast, I am going to be late for dinner. All right, broadcasting now. I am going to be late for dinner. Hey Google, reply, fine, we'll start without you. Okay, sending now. <laughs> See, I'm also able to get replies, so broadcast from family room, this is a notification, broadcast from family room, fine, we'll start without you. You are also able to reply, now I'm gonna reply here, fine, see what happens. Okay, apparently nothing happens and I tested this a few times. I'm gonna test this one more time. Broadcast, I'm gonna be late for dinner. Okay, broadcasting now. I'm gonna be late for dinner. Hey Google, reply, okay, we're gonna be starting without you. Got it, sending now. So the reply arrives, if you click here, you're gonna be able to see also the reply. Here now is the whole card, all the history, our broadcast, the transcription. Okay, we're gonna be starting without you. And you can click here, guys, to see the full history. Okay, so if you go back to view my activity, you're gonna be able to see your full activity. You know this, like all of this that you did with the system. Now we have concluded with this test that replying to a broadcast sent by the speaker from the phone, replying from the phone will not get the text reply read on the speaker. Now let's do a vice versa test. I'm gonna be broadcasting something through the speaker on my phones. Hey Google, broadcast message, we are late. All right, broadcasting now. All right, for some reasons guys, I'm not getting those notifications. That's why I have here my both phones. It works the other way around. Let me just test this one more time. Broadcast that we are running late for the cinema. Okay. Broadcasting now. We're running late for the cinema. And I'll reply. Hey Google. Hey Google. Reply. Again late? Got it. Sending now. See? This time I'm able to get this, but see, when I hit the reply and I'm sending here a reply, short yes, sending it. Doesn't really work that way. But guys, this has been really the broadcast functionality. Now, if you ask me why in 2021 we are having something like the old retro walkie-talkie style, I'm not sure. Is this convenient? I'm not sure. If you probably live in a very big household and you have a mini speaker in each of your rooms, maybe it's an easier thing to do, like running late for dinner, you just pick up your phone, you set it to your late, and then everybody, you know, like all of our five kids and then wives are getting this message, maybe that's fine. We live in the area of messages, right? We have the messenger, we have WhatsApp, we have Viber, we have Snapchat, everything. This still might be handy, right? And it's good that Google are rolling it out, so we have proven that it works. This was the first thing for my video. For the second part, I wanna present you guys the TikTok of YouTube, the Vine for YouTube and the Musical.ly for YouTube. 
A lot of you are not aware that something like TikTok existed years ago, it was called Vine, and it was integrated into Twitter, and then TikTok also existed in the form of Musical.ly, and then changed its name. Right now, what I wanted to show you guys, we have already something like this here inside YouTube. So if you scroll down your feed, you're gonna be seeing something called YouTube Shorts Beta, all right? Now we had YouTube Stories, now we have YouTube Shorts, and this might a bit more complex, so let me just explain it very briefly. The YouTube stories, they usually expire after seven days, uh, without the usual part, so always. The YouTube shorts, though, they will remain forever. You cannot search the YouTube stories, so if somebody's looking for something, they're not searchable, but the YouTube shorts are searchable, so that's a good hint. The YouTube stories will not appear on viewers' computers, and the YouTube shorts will appear with the regular videos, and that's probably the biggest difference. So, these are kind of like the best advice that I can give you, stories versus shorts guys i hope that you have enjoyed this video if that's the case thumbs up subscribe for this channel if you like the content please you and your family stay safe and we're gonna be catching up in one of my next episodes with that said vst over and bye